Welcome to this week's Gibbscam video. Today we're going to show you how to open, download and open one of the machine simulation files that's online on Gibbs that is available to every Gibbscam user. If you go to the web, of course, and uh, type in online at gibbscam.com, it'll bring up this page here. You can go to where it says Gibbscam software. And you can go down to where it says Gibbscam 2022 Machine Configuration Samples. Now once you download that, you'll have a folder um, as such. With the zip file on this file that you've downloaded, first thing you need to do is unzip this folder. So just extract it as you normally would. And now you should have, let me close this other one. Now you should have two zip files and a readme file. This one here is the sample parts and this one here is the configuration or the machine sim. So the best way to get that into your Gibbs, since everybody has machine sim now, as long as you have solids, uh, you will have machine sim that Gibbs uh, gave away to everybody on uh, the 1st of January 2022. So the best way to get that configuration, the machine sim into your Gibbs, would be to take this zip file, click on it, just drag it over to a blank screen in Gibbs, and it's going to bring up this menu here. Can't quite expand it there, but you can see there's lots of files in there. So the only thing you really need to do is click OK. Now that has loaded the MDD, VMM, and machine sim into your Gibbs folders where it needs to be and now you can start programming with the machine sim if you like for a Haas VF4. Now if you want to look at the uh, configuration sample parts just take the zip file and unzip these as well. It'll bring op open this folder here sample parts here and you can see there's a sample part with a table and with a trunnion. Uh, this machine has uh, machine ha sim has two configurations, one for the table, one for the fourth axis here. So let's close these. So if I open up my configuration sample parts, let's say for instance the table, let's open that up. That's your first sample part here and if we go to machine sim That's going to load up the sample part for you. Uh, for this one, I have three vices here. And what I did there is I just go to the document control, multi part, let's just do none here. And close this menu. And this will put the vice on the table with the sample part here. Now I have it kind of off to the left here. And that is right here. If I zero this out, that will center the vise on the table and like I mentioned this is a sample part so if you run the simulation there is your sample part that Gibbs provided you if you want to see a little more color on here change this to tool number run this again and you'll be able to see the different colors for the different tools on the sample part here. So now you have this, you could actually uh, start programming some new parts if you want to put it on the table. And as I mentioned before, uh, if this was the same part you wanted to duplicate it, you could go multi-part. Let's first set the table, set the vise off the table by minus 12 inches there. And this is the, let me stop that. And this here is the distance from your Z0 to the bottom of the vise. So you need to measure that if you are using a different vise than what is provided here on the sample part. But let's go to multi-part and let's do a part duplication. We'll just say three parts and we'll say the each of the vise is offset by 12 inches. Of course this is equally spaced. They don't necessarily have to be 12 inches exactly apart on your machine because this is going to use G54, 55, and 56 so you can actually set those uh, origins out on your machine. 
So once you go to machine sim doing part duplication, now you can see there are three parts there. If we run the rendering, and you can see the machine sim finishing up here. And there you have three vices on your Haas VF4 here as your sample part. Now the next sample is using a fourth axis, so we'll switch over to that. Let's turn off machine sim. And to do that, you can go to the document control and go to configuration. So if you have a machine model that you want set up, you can have Gibbs put that model together for you to use in your machine sim. There is a charge for that but you can have them do that. You just need to provide the uh, skin model for the machine and they will provide the rest for you and put together the machine simulation. If I click over to the TR-160, then that's going to use a rotary table instead and then we'll bring up the sample part for that. So this is our sample part for three parts on the trunnion table. And if we go to machine sim, you can see here is our trunnion table on our Haas machine. And if we do a cut part render, let's put a little color to the tools here. Speed it up a little bit. And there's your machine sim using the Haas VF4 with the TR160 trunnion on there. Now, of course, a machine sim, this has all the sheet metal removed. And when Gibbs usually does your assembly it'll have all the sheet metal and everything there just as your skin model you provided to Gibbs to do that but you can remove the skin model um, or the sheet metal very easily or any other component you'd like to just by clicking on this eye up here machine configuration visibility and you can actually click on what you want to hide because sometimes when you rotate around sheet metal might be in the way so you might want to remove it you can just click on what you would like to remove and click this button here that says hide and you'll notice that will hide that component for your machine sim so very easy to manipulate and see what the tool is actually doing and really works well so if you need your machine sim put together contact your Gibbs reseller you provide the skin model. Some are provided free um, by the manufacturer, and some are charged for. Uh, different manufacturers charge, some of them don't. But once you have your skin model, you can provide that to Gibbs, and they will assemble that together so you can use machine sim on here. If you any, have any questions, please put that in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.